Hello, welcome back to Benosusi Live Noting. In this episode, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way you can generate stairs. There's actually another way to do this, but it's more like um, technical, but this one is actually quite easy and simple. So basically, you can start with uh, something like a plane. Okay, always a plane is one of uh, the most useful um, generator. And with a plane, you see, you can always increase the number of cuts like that and if you look at this um, it's already kind of resemble a stair from above but you just kind of need to make it going up a little bit by a little bit so for that really all you need is something like um, extrusion I'll give you a quick example so extrude and we have extrude separate faces and that's exactly perfect for what we are doing it's kind of like a cheat but then it, it, it is actually working really well you can even make like a like a piano kind of a piano thing uh, with you know white and black color uh, but anyway once we have this because this is like in spare chalk you can kind of pass in a lot of a um, lot of values here you can simply use something like range float plug into the height and then voila you got a you got yourself a stair and then really you can adjust how high and how steep this guy is um, yeah and even you can even um, apply a function into this guy if you really like really want to do that for example if you add um, math plug it into this guy and assign to sign and you increase it in the X you can quickly get a this kind of a sine wave kind of design and of course you can you can and you should kind of play around with this kind of maybe you want to offset it slightly and I don't know in this case you can you can make it wavy like that, but you can also kind of push it using the vertices here. Vertices here. So yeah, so suddenly um, you get this uh, sine wave. You know, it's a it's a weird thing. Like how how this how is this possible? But it's actually it's not actually that um, complicated. Or but this is basically how you can create a stair. It's actually uh, very good. Uh, you you can bake this. Even though we know that uh, in between in between all these boxes is, is pretty much uh, another deficiency, but this will uh, actually render quite nicely. You you won't be able to see the gap anyway. So this is a quick way you can generate a stair. Uh, there's another way you can build a stair if you want like a more like a spiral kind of stair. You can start with a with a ring. So ring, if you look at it using viewer draw, so this is like a extra bonus. Look at this cut, it's kind of perfect. This can generate um, like a ring if you actually, there is actually a trick to kind of cut the ring somehow, but you don't need to do that for now, I guess. You just need to use um, extrusion, extrude separate, same like before increase the height uh, something with the ring is that the normal is actually flip so you probably wanna you wanna flip the normal first before you do the extrusion so normal flip this should this should actually work I think reverse it okay now we have control over this guy and all we need to do is to use range float plug into the height and we should have ourselves kind of like a spiral spiraling stair it's very very easy right um, if you if you want to challenge uh, maybe find a way you can kind of make the spiral stair to go all the way you know like if you have like a mountain I don't know mountain valley kind of uh, you know mountain valley is one of uh, famous game on the iOS and Android maybe 
yeah, it's a, you can build a building that goes spiraling like that. Uh, give it a try how, let's see how you can approach that. This one can actually, see, because this is like a ring, in order to make a cut, um, you probably can use a list, list, list slice here. So if you're slicing, if you're slicing the the actual ring polygon, you know, you don't you don't use the holding. You can end up with just like a stair like design, and you can just bake it. Even though this one actually generate extra vertices, this is a quick and dirty way to do it. You can always uh, remove loose or delete loose. There's a probably like a better way to do this. So, but this is this actually will work. If you bake this, you don't get um, extra vertices, unlike this guy. This guy have extra vertices. So, and you can actually use this and kind of duplicate it up and then rotate it. That's one way you can quickly generate this kind of endless spiraling stair. Okay, so yeah, that's a quick look at you can how you can design a normal stair, like linear stair, and then spiraling stair. I think this is a very very quick way to do it. Even though it's probably not the most um, not the most correct way technically, but this is a good shortcut to do it. So hopefully you enjoy this, and I guess I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.